we fear nothing. That's a quotation from the traditional submarine commissioning ceremony. Certainly Dreadnought's crew have little to fear, for she can deal with any kind of ship or submarine afloat today. Or so says her captain, 38-year-old Commander Sambor. The commissioning ceremony took place at Vickers Armstrong's yard at Barrow, where Dreadnought was built. Commander Sanborn proudly read the commissioning warrant from Flag Officer Submarines. Dreadnought's crew, 79 ratings and 11 officers, are proud to be in at the start of a new phase in the glorious history of this branch of the silent service, a history going back through two world wars. We owe much to the bravery, skill, and all too often the sacrifice of the submariner. As the recent Thresher disaster reminds us, theirs is a dangerous job in peace as well as in war. Dreadnought, incidentally the ninth Royal Navy ship to bear the name, is considerably larger than the conventional sub. She carries more torpedoes too. The torpedo deck is a vast undersea arsenal. An American nuclear power plant has been considerably hotted up, but the actual performance figures are secret. Here's the main control cockpit. Aircraft type joysticks are used to control steering and the hydroplane mechanism. She's designed for very long distance patrol work, lasting anything up to nine months. A vessel worthy to carry the proud traditions of the Royal Navy into the nuclear age at sea. <laughs> 